So today we're in the trenches, as you can see, which I will explain in a minute. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And today we're going to talk about my measure fabric haul. Now, the enormous amount of fabric that you see behind me is not a fabric store, even though it could be, it's my stash. We are in the process of cleaning out my sewing room, painting it, um, all that kind of stuff. So that will be a YouTube video in and of itself. Going through my fabric will also be a YouTube video, but for today, I'm gonna show you some new fabric I got. Like, like I need more fabric. <laughs> Probably not, but I'm going to show you some new fabric I got from Measure Fabric. I am a measure maker. Um, I received some fabric for free that um, I all I have to do is do a post and um, make a garment and do a blog post. So this fabric I bought with my own money and I want to show you what I got because I love it so much. So, because fabric hauls are the best, right? And I have a few ideas of what I want to make. Now, I will warn you. I bought a lot of fabric recently, so we are going to have a lot of fabric hauls coming soon. I usually have an idea of what I want to make whenever I have these fabric hauls, but I don't always get to it. It's kind of like I have 10,000 dreams and a little bit of time. <laughs> so don't be disappointed if what I am planning to make I don't get to. Really, it's just to help you guys imagine with me the possibilities that you can create or the possibilities of things you can create with fabric. Um, and But for sure, I'm going to get to some of these because I'm really excited about them. And there's one that's definitely going to happen because I bought a lot of fabric to make it happen. So, um, But yeah, so I will uh, slowly get to all these projects and um, be showing them to you guys later or on Instagram. So let's get started without further ado. All right. So the first one I have, these are all washed by the way, and they washed beautifully. Um, let's see, the first one I have is the Satine Solid Rib Knit. So when I saw this on her website, I noticed the color first thing, like the color is gorgeous. I knew it was drapey because I could tell like, like the way that she had it in the picture. Um, but I did not realize, and I know it says sateen, but I did not realize like how beautiful this is. And it is so soft. Oh my gosh. And it's really, really, um, shiny kind of, not really, really shiny, but it's, it's got a sheen. Um, and, and the drape is like, just like so good. So the thing with this I was gonna make a bodysuit out of it, but I'm not sure. I think it would make a really good, like um, maybe wrap shirt. Like there's a pattern by Seamwork that's just a, um, I think it's called Elmira, but I will put it up up here. But it's a wrap shirt and um, it has just a little tie and it's kind of um, just got straight sleeves that, that don't, um, balloon out or anything but I thought it would be cool if I could modify that pattern a little bit make the sleeves a little bit poofy add a little cuff and then I would have like a wrap shirt with like a little puff sleeve I think it also would make a really good um I am patterns I think it's zebra and it's one of those shirts that has the cuff and the and the puff and like little buttons up here um really good for that. I don't think a very tight fitting shirt would be good either just because you would be able to see like for sure with the bras that I wear you'd be able to see like all the little knobs and things so I probably wouldn't do that but I've got to take advantage of the drape so I need some kind of like sleeve that's like billowing or something. I mean it's gonna have to be amazing. So this one might take me a while to think of an exact pattern, but there are some examples um, in case you guys are interested. Um, the next thing I got, I'm so excited about. Okay, so I'm excited about all of them. I mean, who am I kidding? <laughs> okay, so this is a silk. Um, it is, I always write it down on like a little cardboard, by the way. Um, it's a Swiss dot chiffon silk. So, I mean... So good you guys look at this like 
first of all, it's raised. You can see that it's raised. Um, and the colors are just beautiful, like this light blue and this dark blue. It's definitely see-through, so if you're gonna make anything with it, you're gonna have to either wear a shirt underneath or a, a slip or something or line it. Um, so it's very sheer. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was a really just gathered skirt, like a midi skirt um, with like an elastic waistband or just a regular waistband. Um, I don't know if I'd want to make the waistband out of this fabric. I think it'd be cool to have like a maybe a contrast waistband. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I think it would make a really cool gathered skirt. Like if you take it, it would have to have a lining or you would just have to wear a slip or something. But um, if I kind of gather it, um, oh gosh, that's not working. <laughs> I want it to hang on. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you just kind of show what it would be like gathered, um, I mean, I think it would just be so pretty. So I got three yards. I have a really long skirt pattern that you need three yards for, and I'm not going to make a long skirt. If I can't gather it enough, um, with a, by make, like if I want to make a midi skirt and it's not going to be gathered enough, I might make a shorter skirt and just make it like really gathered. Um, I know that Closet Case Patterns has a good skirt in like their Rome collection. It's, um, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I will pop it up here. Um, they have a shorter skirt. I think that would be really cute um, in that or maybe just the medium size, uh, med medium length skirt. So yeah, I also saw a dress um, on Instagram that was not me made, it was a uh, ready to wear. And I would love to make it out of this fabric, but I don't think I bought enough and I don't have a pattern for that dress. <laughs> but I might pop it up here anyway so you can just see it for inspiration. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what that ends up being. Um... We're gonna go to Paris again this summer, so I think it would be a really good skirt for that um, trip, and it would be really versatile, and I'd wear it a lot, so we will see. Um, okay, so this is the next fabric. It is a floral bouquet clusters on crinkle chiffon, okay? So it's hard to see this one because it's a little bit darker, but it's like a, um, let me get a good cluster for you. Here we go. So, you can see it. And you can see this is a double layer because I have it folded over and it's very sheer, uh, which you would expect with chiffon, but the crinkle is just gorgeous. It makes it so vintage looking. Um, I knew whatever I was going to make, I would want to like gather it a bunch. Um, but there is a French pattern. I've bought four patterns, I think from this website and I have yet to make one. So I can't <laughs> tell you if the patterns are good. I should have probably made one before I printed, I bought so many, but I couldn't resist. They were so good, but it's this pattern called Anna. Um, and it's um, on Apolline Patterns, I believe. I will pop a picture up here and a link down below. Um, and I think it would be beautiful in this shirt. But then, to make it, um, I mean in this fabric, to make it simpler for all of you, I also think it would make a beautiful Lottie blouse uh, by Anna Allen, Anna Allen Clothing. I've made this blouse before. Um, and it is beautiful, it fits really well, it's blousy, and has poofy sleeves, and ugh, I really think it would be gorgeous. And if I got like a tiny, like little pink ribbon that you can pass through the little tunnel and tie it up here and you'd have like cute little pink bow, and ah, so good. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be. And um, actually Maria suggested of Measure Fabric suggested embroidering on it as well, but I don't really know how to do that. I've done that before, but on this fabric, I'm not sure if I'm brave enough, but I will think about it. That would be awesome, because there are tiny little flowers that you could like embellish on here. So 
Anyways, I love it. All right, moving on to the last fabric. Yay! Actually, that's sad, but it's a very exciting fabric to talk about. Okay, everyone, are you ready for the best fabric ever? Okay. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is a brocade and it is like a black background with like the blue flowers and the red and some yellow. Pretty much all my favorite colors because there's some pink in here. So pink and red. Hello. I love those colors. Love blue. I'm not a huge fan of black, but I like how this kind of makes this more elegant by having black in the background. And there's plenty of color like all over the place, but it's not like ah, color. It's just like just elegant color. And then the other side ah, is super cool. So super shiny. It's got a stripe here, the flowers. Anyway, super cool. So I have tickets to the social fest this summer with, um, well, not with, but that Tabitha uh, sewer is running. And um, so I'm so excited. It's like a red carpet theme. And I have a couple of inspiration picks. Um, one of them is kind of like a pattern and I like the bottom part of the pattern, so I'll pop that up here. Another one is a dress that Elle Fanning has worn and um, it's just gorgeous and it's like almost exactly what I want, but I don't have a pattern for it and I may change it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just want to be in brocade because it has a little bit of structure, but I want to be in like tons of fabric with like this super big skirt for my red carpet look and, um, have some kind of interesting sleeve or low v-neck or whatever on the top. Maybe even just like a kind of more of like a Dior look with just like a, a strapless top or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to do a YouTube about that later um but look at this fabric and look at the drape it's so good like it has structure but it still is good great a uh, grape <laughs> i think i'm hungry good drape anyways so i um i wrote maria and i said would you be offended if i bought all of this brocade <laughs> because she had 10 yards and um, I looked up the Vogue pattern that I already showed you up here and it said that I think I understood, if I understood it correctly, for the top skirt, not like the underskirt, which is the lining, you would need almost about seven yards plus the top. So I think I was going to do a more involved top than the pattern had and so I was like, well, I need more fabric and if I do like a... Um, a sleeve that kind of butterflies out then I would need a lot of fabric for that because those would be like really big sleeves to cut out so I'm like I need to add at least like two more yards well that's like nine yards and I'm like well I may as well get ten just in case because I want a little bit of a train maybe and like that could take a lot so I'm hoping ten is enough but I ordered the ten and I mean I felt like a queen when this came in. I was like waltzing around the house with it, had it draped around my body and I was just like <laughs> and somehow I think this was like the Lord helping me out because I felt so guilty for buying it all and not let anybody else share in its glory. And um, she got some more. So there's some more in the fab in the um, store. I'm just gonna wear this. Anyway, there's some more in the store and um, that was unexpected. She didn't expect to get any more. So you can have it too. I think it would make, if I wasn't making a ball gown, <laughs> I think it would make a really awesome Adriana dress that Friday Pattern Company just came out. Cause it has structure, but it's still, 
um, got has drape and it would make those beautiful big sleeves um, and it's got enough structure to be like a straight dress like for the rest of it but then have the big sleeves um, I also think um, it would make a good like just a circle skirt kind of you know like a maybe even a short one or or a midi skirt or something It'd be super cute and super 50s um and yeah it would make just a regular cute regular dress as well like it's super soft malleable so nice so much of it you guys you know how much tenure oh <gasps> my husband had helped me fold this he's going to kill me for unfolding it just gonna say that <laughs> Sorry, don't help me fold it again. Anyways, um, so yeah, so I just bought four. So, um, but there are four amazing fabrics. I hope I get to the other ones, but I'm for sure getting to this one because I have 10 yards and um, yeah, it's gonna make an amazing dress. And honestly, the price that I paid for this, for the 10 yards is like nothing compared to what it would cost to buy a super huge ball gown like you can't even buy prom dresses anymore for I think it was like 200 something for all this fabric like there are like five thousand dollars or a thousand dollars or something my little girl's prom dress is not going to be that much because I'm going to make it but yeah they're crazy nowadays so it's a really good deal really high quality fabric and like I said I bought all of this fabric with my own money I'm doing it this video out of my own love for the fabric. This is nothing to do with anything sponsored. So yeah, I actually am super excited about all these fabrics. So anyways, I have a lot more of these to come. Um, of these fabric hauls, I have a lot more to come of me cleaning out my fabric. You probably just find me buried in it, but it's fine. I have a lot more to come of me cleaning out my sewing room and um yeah some other fun stuff too um outfit planning um trip planning like you know uh, capsule wardrobes for the trips that are coming up um and yeah lots of fun stuff so stick around if you like this video um make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more um ask me questions i want to get to know all of you um just say hi if you want to say hi um, I really enjoy your comments. I get a lot of advice from them actually. I have made changes to my YouTube videos based on what you guys have said. So I really take it to heart. Uh, love you all. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.